All right, so take one. Been doing testing all day on the new Wii U host. This is courtesy of CME. This here is the Witty U host. Now, this is very similar to the Witty Jack and the Witty Master. Same size, same function, little magnety thing goes there so this could stick to the side of anything. Like so. And this little Witty host does a whole host of, of different things, no pun intended. First up, here you get USB power. Now, and here you have USB host and device. And there's two different ways to run this. As you can see here, I've got this running off a battery. That's providing power. And this power passes through up into about half an amp through and down here. So what you can do is from this USB-C thing, I've got a typical OTG cable. This is a stock standard cable that you can get anywhere. You've even got these, you know, some stuff like this will come with your phone if you have an Android phone that used USB-C. You can get these easily. And what I've got that connected to is a Type A. You see that type of thing there. Let's go through this list. This is USB-C. This is Type A, your standard thing. And this is type A, which is going to the back of the Iridium into a mini type B, that thing. Now the Iridium is set up so that it can take MIDI directly through TRS. And there's all kinds of different ways to do this. But what I wanted to look at when I was first doing tests with this here little beastie is to see what does this actually bring to the party if you're using it regularly. Now, the first thing this will do, powering it like this, is it'll give the Iridium a real simple way to connect back with my iPad. And running this two-way over USB, you can set the Iridium up really easily so that these knobs transmit. And that goes back to Peter's app, as you can see. What I've done here is got the whole thing rigged up. As long as this has power, you can disconnect, reconnect, and do all kinds of stuff. So first test we're going to try out. I'm just going to rest this here on my knee. Replug this in. There we go. It should all be working. Ignore the sounds. I'm just going to show you the differences in them. So here we've got an air step, wirelessly connected. And what I've done is set this up, so that's going PC0, PC1, 2, 3, 4. Simple program change, and that's changing. And you'll see the little fave light changing every time. This is my first wireless test. Is this has a built-in antenna. Pretty cool. That's real simple. What I've then done beyond that, because I use this with my Waza over there and Waza airs all the time as a monitor, I've taken another one of these little USB-C cables on the go. And I'm taking battery power out of the air step through that into a morning star. So here's what's happening. Morningstar is on a bank with six different Marshall presets. That's sending MIDI out along USB in here, out through that antenna, which is hitting the Witty U host right here and communicating there. And you should see that blinking every time I hit something now. There you go. So now we're on a Marshall number six. So 
all I've done here, this is my typical setup before, and what I used to do is run from the MIDI out here with a great big massive cable. This thing, not this thing, but similar, huge cable, and it was always the wrong way around. What this tiny little gizmo here has allowed me to do is very simply connect that up to the board, run, test, and tweak this. I'd highly recommend this. There are, however, all kinds of different ways of doing this. If you're running more than an Arabian, like say you're also running that uh, lamb over there, TRS, there's all kinds of different ways to do this. You can take the exact same git, bit of kit that you've got, change the EXPs here, and you can run a regular TRS cable. These are wicked, these Elgato things. You can run two TRSs out of that. You can stick a witty jack, or if you've got like an old, what are these things called? Hue something of the others? That can go on there. Plugged in. So it's transmitting and receiving, and I can probably turn off all this. See if it works. Right, okay, I don't have here enough no, power. Okay. So now we've got power coming to the Morning Star. This is turned off. The witty has always been connected. So it shouldn't drop. These are all my different banks. There you go, and that's still working. So, what I really wanted to demonstrate was how simple this is. If you've got legacy Bluetooth gear, if you've got new Bluetooth gear, if you've got a witty jack, if you've got a witty master, if you've got a witty U-host, that entire family now will work in any direction. <laughs> There you go, bit of a rough vid, but there's your first test with the Witty U host running into the Iridium. The same thing applies to every other device out there which is running USB. This for instance, or if you had a Morningstar MC3, which does not have MIDI in and MIDI out, it only has USB. What you can do is stick one of these powered in, and then you've got MIDI that can get into your MC3, which is fabulous, because that means that your iPad or whatever you have out there, your computer, can send MIDI to the MC3 and drive it. Same thing for a Pod Go. Anything that's got USB Type-B coming in here. This is basically two-way communications. But because this is running as a peripheral unit, this is now the central unit, or master and slave, however you want to call it. This thing is just brilliant. So, hope that is really helps some food for thought for people. If you haven't seen Peter Barabash's app, the Iridium Controller, check it out. It really is an amazing little tool. It takes this thing, which is completely without any kind of editor or drivers, and allows you to connect to basic stuff like this. Or with Peter's app, you can actually batch load in multiple presets. You can save them, you can share them, you can send it out over the internet, and all you need is this. If you happen to have one of these, and you don't have a Woody e host now, you can very simply connect to iOS, one of these here thingies, 
a camera connector kit and you can do this wired back into your phone. Pretty cool. You know, think of the usage cases. If you're out dotting in, dotting in, dotting in, you go to a new place and you find that you know your settings are just not good, you can continue to dial in here by hand. We've got your phone connected in there and save that at the end of the night. So you have your settings. As soon as you discover something, you've now got a way to back that out. Brilliant. Just brilliant.